good morning class, uh, good, good afternoon period six. Um, my name is Blue, I am in for Turner today. She is out. And so here we go, it looks like we're going to be talking about translations, learning targets 2F and 2G. This is part one of four. Alrighty, so let's have a look here. First of four transformations we are going to be talking about. Transformations are changes that we make to a figure on a plane, okay? So the first one we're going to talk about is called a translation, and it's a transformation which is simply a movement of a figure. It's a slide of a figure, okay? And so you can see here if we start out with, oh shucks, I was practicing too soon. If we start out here with triangle ABC, so A is here, B is here, C is here, triangle ABC, and let's say we want to move it so that it's two units to the right and four units up, okay? So that we get a, the new triangle, we get the triangle shifted over. So for each coordinate, let's just take each of the vertices and go two to the right and one, two, three, four up. Okay, and you can see that's where A is going to move to if we slide it two over and four up. And because we know that it's a new spot, we put A with a little tick mark next to it, and we call it A prime. Okay, and then for the B, let's do the same thing. So two over and four up. Okay, and that's where B prime would be. And then if we do same thing with the C, two over and four up. That's going to give us where the C prime is. And then you can see if we connect all of our vertices again, you can see that we've slid the figure, right? Okay. Also, another um, little bit of terminology here. This is what we call the pre-image. This is where we start. And this is called the new image where it lands. Okay. So pre-image to the image where it stops. Okay. And again, this was a slide of two over and four up. Okay. Now there's two different ways we can talk about this slide, okay? The first one is, um, let's see, we'll use our, um, our vector form. Okay, also sometimes called component form. Okay, and to indicate, just using the example we just talked about here, where we slid two to the right and four up, you use these vector symbols, okay, and you would say we did positive 2 with all the x's and we did positive 4 with the y's, okay? That's what we call vector form of what we just did with this pre-image to this image to slide it that way, okay? We also sometimes use something called point notation, okay? And to use point notation for what we just did on these two figures, we go like this, we say, well, we started out with some coordinates and then we slid them such that we added two to all the X's and we added four to all the Y's, okay? And so these two things mean exactly the same thing for what we did on this picture to go from pre-image to image, okay? Just remember, translations are slides of the figure. Alrighty, so let's just come on over here and get started with this we problem. Turner tells me you do a we problem next. Okay, and so let's take a look. We want to write the vector form of the translation that took place so that ABC slid to A prime, B prime, C prime. Okay, so what took place here to go from here to here? Okay, well, let's just check this out. It looks like, let's just look at one of the vertices for starters, the A. It looks like we went one, two, three, four, five, and up one. We slid five back, five into the negative, and then we went up one. Let's see if that works for all of them. Let's see B. One, two, three, four, five, and up one. Yep. And same thing with C. One, two, three, four, five, up one. So this is what's happening. And so we want to write what's happening as a translation in that vector form. So I think we're going to want to go like this. Um, we slid negative 5 and we went up 1. And there's your answer. Okay. And even though I didn't ask for it in this, let's go ahead and practice writing it in that point notation. So in point notation, to say exactly the same thing, 
we would say x, y slid to x minus 5 and y plus 1, okay? And just a reminder, these two things mean exactly the same thing. They're just different notations to communicate the same thing. All righty, friends. Turner tells me you also do a you all problem, so could you take a look at this one? Why don't you go ahead and hit pause for a second, give it a shot. You want to find P prime location, Q prime's location, and R prime's location if you start out here, here, and here, and you undergo a translation such that this occurs, okay? So see if you can find the coordinates of P prime, Q prime, R prime, pause it, okay? And if you did that correctly, I think you should get this. So good day, and Turner has some practice for you.